This is Joe Delio with the Live Community bringing you the fourth video of the Device Insights video analyzing metrics with Device Insights. It is presented by Sri Raksha Kundaji Ramesh where she walks you through all the details of analyzing metrics with Device Insights. Now let's go back to the devices view here and explore the perimeter SF firewall that was critical and highlighted at the top. As we saw before, session table usage is the highlighted metric that, that shows that perimeter SF firewall is impacted because of this metric. Clicking on this metric opens up a detailed metric view. The detailed metric view gives you more information about the device, the metric, and a visual representation of the data. Now, depending on the data in question, this is represented either as a trend, li trend line, as we see here on the screen, or some other visual representation that best describes the details of that metric that you're looking at. By default, Device Insights displays data over the last seven days, but you can choose to look at data over a different window. You can also get more context around the metrics trend line by comparing the data against reference values, such as the moving average or the theoretical max capacity for the firewall to assess remaining capacity. You can also get more contextual information by adding commit events to the chart. You can also compare trends for related metrics to further investigate the issue. Now on the right hand side here, the first text box gives you more information about how this metric may impact functionality if you don't take any action. So for example, if you have traffic that's spiking, and you notice that a firewall's performance is degrading, we can help you pinpoint the specific issue or the related metrics behind it. Right below that, we also give recommendations to remediate the issue in your deployment. Now, these are actions based on best practices and expert advice that you can take on your own to fix the issue. Our experts have deep knowledge about the root causes behind impacted functionality, and we continuously update the application's knowledge database. The app also references articles to give you more information and augment the in-app recommendations. Now these articles will have more detailed information and usually step-by-step -step instructions on how best to fix the issue. So now that you've seen a demo of the Device Insights app, to get started, all you need to do is update to PanOS 10.0 with native telemetry capabilities and join our community trial or visit our website for more information. Thank you. Thank you so much, Raksha, for all the videos, all the explanations, and telling us all more about Device Insights. Thanks again for watching. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so you're notified about all the new videos that we're producing here on the live community. Thank you very much. Have a great day.